Oh, I love this yellow. Yellow it makes me so happy. Do you guys like my new pillows and my lights? I figured I'd spice up my room a little more. Oh my gosh, you guys can see my plug. That's embarrassing. Okay. And today I'm gonna be talking to you about Italian versus American fashion. Thank you Ingrid for your request. You said, I'd love to see a video on YouTube about what you've noticed in how the Italian women dress compared to Americans. That would be fab, love your videos. Thank you Ingrid. So yeah, I have something to say about that, more than something, so I decided to film a video on that today. If there is one thing I learned moving to Italy besides Italian language, it is Italian fashion. And I'm here to enlighten you, I guess, because it took me years to figure it out and now I feel like I've got it pretty down pat where I get compliments on my clothes, on my outfits, genuine compliments from other Italians, and I just feel like I blend in. But I've also found my own personal style because that's important. We're not all trying to blend in here. We all wanna have our own unique style, but still look Italian. So I'm here to help you do exactly that. So the first thing I will say about American fashion is that it's very much based on comfort and people dress more for comfort, they're more casual, a lot more sporty, athletic, and it's sort of like anything goes. Bright colors, patterns, and yeah, there are just a lot of things that are going on in American fashion that you would never see in Italy. So, those are a few of the ways I would describe American fashion. Yeah, I guess anything goes is the best way to put it. If people want to wear something super form-fitting when they go out at night with a lot of cleavage showing, it's totally acceptable. Whereas in Italy, they definitely dress more on the conservative side, still fitting, flattering clothes that show your curves, but just in a different way, which I will explain. Italians definitely dress more elegant overall, even if they're just going to get groceries, they'll put themselves together. They would never wear pajamas or sweatpants and if you're trying to be a fashionable person that's definitely not something you would see of course there are always the exceptions but we're talking fashion here okay another thing are the shoes so italians walk pretty much everywhere as long as they aren't going to another city or somewhere super far away walking is the main mode of transportation so comfort and practicality are both very much a part of the shoes we wear here you would almost never see an Italian woman walking down the street with like stilettos that are super thin and super high because that's just not practical but just in their daily lives you might see a wedge or a really short heel but you'll never see a really high heel that is hard to walk in also because we have cobblestone streets here so that's just a disaster waiting to happen you'll also notice less patterns in Italian fashion we're more about neutral colors or solid colors you'll still see some bright colors it's just a pop here and there not super crazy lots of different patterns going on just very basic but still um, statements I guess so you can still wear solid colors and make a statement as I can show you here with my beautiful yellow dress it's very simple but still very playful and there is a lot of like movement in the dress. I'll show you a little picture here. This is actually Katrina Designs, which is one of my best friends boutiques here in the Cinque Terre. She also is American and lives here. So I'll put a little link below. If you guys wanna follow her on Instagram, she has the cutest dresses. And this is one of my favorite ones that I'm wearing. So anyways, okay, back to what I was talking about. So Italian women will play off the shape of their body without overdoing it. As you can see in the photo here, you can see my curves, you can see that I'm a woman, I'm feminine, but I'm not showing you everything. And that is a very common thing for Italian women to do. They will just kind of accentuate their curves, but they're not putting them on full display. They just tend to lean on the more conservative side. You will not see a lot of Italian women out and about with cleavage out and um, super short dresses or shorts or skirts. They do just try to be somewhat conservative while still being very feminine. So they do find a very fine balance between um, being feminine and accenting the right parts of their body. Crop tops are totally fine, for example. You'll see a lot of Italian women wearing crop tops and like a high-waisted jean or something. I'm gonna make another video where I do like full-on Italian outfit ideas 
and outfits that I actually wear out and about in Italy, so you'll get a better idea of what I'm talking about. But overall, these are just like notes to take about how Italian women dress. So as far as accentuating certain parts of your body as a female in Italy, Italian women are very careful to find flattering clothing and they are very conscientious about how things fit. So as you can see even here, the way my dress is made, it like hits right on my shoulder in a perfect spot. And if you go shopping with an Italian woman, if I was wearing this in a size up, this would probably be down a little bit more and they would say, oh no, 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 you need to wear a size smaller. They're very careful about all the little details like that. So that's just something I've picked up on the more time that I've spent in Italy. And once again, even if they dress neutral, they do make bold statements with the way they dress. So there is still a lot of pow and character in the way they dress, but they just do so in a different way compared to Americans. Another thing I'll note is jewelry. So you can see today I'm just wearing these simple gold earrings. Italian women are very intentional with jewelry, so they will never wear jewelry if it's not adding something to the outfit. They do keep it more simple. If they are wearing a few bracelets, they'll make sure they all look great together and add something to the outfit. They'll never just wear like 10 bracelets of 10 different colors just because they're their lucky bracelets or something, unless they're teenagers once again, but I'm talking women's fashion here in your 20s and beyond. So yes, the jewelry is another thing. They also are careful with what color jewelry they're wearing. So for example, if I have a dress with silver buttons, I would probably wear a silver earring. If I had gold buttons, gold earring. Um, with this dress that doesn't have buttons, I could do any kind of earring, but I would have to be careful with how I'm pairing the yellow. If I had a purse with a gold chain on it, I would wear a gold earring. If I had a purse with a silver chain, I'd probably wear a silver earring. If I was wearing a jacket with gold buttons, I would put a gold earring on. So not only do they pay attention to the jewelry, but they pay attention to the purse, the shoes, the other accessories. For example, if I have a belt on and there's gold in it, I'd probably put a gold earring on. If I have a silver metal belt, I would wear a silver earring. If I wear a lighter purse, I'll wear a lighter shoe. For example, with this outfit, it's a yellow dress. I would pair it with the light summery purse. And if I put on big clunky black shoes, that probably would not be very Italian of me. Instead, I would put on a light leather sandal and that would just bring the whole outfit together much better. So once again, in my next video, I will show you guys examples of outfits I wear every day in Italy and some staples that you can have in your wardrobe if you're trying to look more Italian. So definitely subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss that video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really supports my channel. And make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm there every day. That is the best place to follow me and see what I'm up to on a daily basis. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao for now.